It's right. Exo Brittany. Brittany. Does anybody have a makeup one? It's only one Exo. Oh. Hello, everyone. It's Exo Brittany. Brittany. Hey, 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 Brittany. Be my little sister, man. You try them, you try me, I'm not young. Like, Why are they running? Be running for you? Subscribe! Alright, what's up guys? Brittany here. Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I wanted to give you guys just some different ways that you'd be able to style your dorm. Um, so, I've given you guys a dorm room tour already, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. It'll be in the information section. Um, but today's video is a little different. I'm just going to stop talking. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the video, and I'm just going to show you guys just a couple of different ideas that you can have for decorating your room. Okay, so if you are living in Eagle Landing within the next coming year and you were in room A, this is some designs that you can have for your room. So when you walk in, you're automatically going to have your desk situation over here. This is generally where you put your TV. Your bed can either be on this side or it can be on this side. I'm going to show you guys, of course, another example of that. So over here, what I decided to do with this section, this is like my desk area. I usually don't sit here, but it is good to just kind of sit down and do your homework and stuff like that. This is usually what that's for, but it's never used for that. This does not go here. This is actually just a regular mirror. Um, so you can see it like moving or whatever. I took it from my old roommate because she wasn't using it. So I just put it right there because there's no need in having like two mirrors standing up. So I just put that right here. So it's kind of cute. You know, if I want to take like a little picture, this does come with a light. Yeah. I never use it, but it does come with the light, so maybe I could take like a cute um, selfie one day. Um, I just decided to put like all my smell goods, my makeup kind of stuff right here, um, just some more pictures. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did just move this. This, These three items were down here, but I feel like it just looked very cluttered. So I decided to put them up here. So it's just like my accessories, some more pictures, some snacks and stuff. Just for, you know, just trying to decorate it or whatever. So it comes with these two panels and then your desk area. So you have all free reign to do whatever. And then under here is some more space. You can't have your bed up against this wall. So usually my bed is usually where the dresser is. But you can have it up against this wall as well. The only thing is, but when you open this, this restricts you. You can't go no further than this. I'll be having to like squeeze through here to reach and get something so i mean it's not too bad but like i can't even like open it all the way and do that because my bed is right here really the only downfall about having your bed on this side but if you do end up having a handicap room, this area is gonna be much bigger. The only thing about having it right here, like if you don't have an extension cord or nothing, it's a charger back here, it's a charger like right there or something, and then it's a charger right behind the mirror, and then of course, it's one behind the desk. So that's the only thing, I have to use my charger for my speaker. So like when I'm in bed, I can't really be on my phone like that and stuff. So that's the downside of that. This does not come with the room. You have to buy it, it's an over the storage unit, but I mean, definitely useful um i just have so many shoes y'all i have like shoes out here i have shoes right here i have shoes underneath there i have shoes right here and i have shoes in my closet and i have shoes under here and i have shoes in here so like so many shoes so it can go for right here you could put shoes up here or you could put like your supplies and stuff like all this beauty stuff you could put that right there um i was gonna do that but then i wouldn't have nowhere to put my shoes and i don't want them just like sitting out i tried that it makes it look a mess so that is way one it's kind of sort of a dorm room tour not really so this is way one and I'm about to show you guys way two in a second so guys you can by all means put your dress against this wall and where the door is um the only reason I'm not doing it is just because my YouTube backdrop is right here so it wouldn't really look right all I'm doing is just pushing that out the way so that I can put my um, my bed back over here. So y'all pray that this storage unit don't have to happen to you because 
it takes me forever, it took me forever to put it together. And it's fallen apart so many times that like, it kind of hurts. So if you wanted to, you could like include this like right here. This would make a great like, a little storage space or something. Um, definitely an idea. If you buy a storage unit, you can put the dressers, stack them up, and put them on here. Gotcha, sis. Got this rug from Ross, probably. For no more than $30, because I'm a cheap hoe. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm working the heck out of this part. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We don't want to get off for Ooh, that wall is bad. Oh my gosh. But y'all, the only reason it's coming off is because it's paint. They paint these walls. So, like, this is all the stuff I have underneath. Sorry for my second. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, really, it's just the paint that came off. So, I mean, they're going to paint back over this anyway. So. It's been worse things done to the room than this, okay? So don't say Brittany made you do it. Do it at your own risk, okay? <laughs> I like to do with my bed um, just because I know I sleep wild I tend to just leave this piece out instead of like tucking it behind the um, behind the bed just so that I can have that good old you know pull up pull it up because it's going to be pushed to the, the wall so it restricts me from like you know using my covers to its fullest potential so so Deja was saying if I had my bed over here that I can cat corner this which I guess is fine but like I'm not gonna have anywhere for my Marilyn to like lean up against because she can't stand up on her own. And I just had it like up against the wall like this. So the dresser was still going right underneath that. All the way. 
all the way. So I'm just gonna clean everything out, up, get it back looking nice, and then we'll do a tour of this version. I really think my dorm room tour is of this version of my room. <laughs> but I mean, whatever. All right, you guys, so this is my last setup. If you come in, you have the bed to the left of the door instead of your dresser, and then the dresser right here instead of the bed. This time, of course, you can open your closet. Excuse me, little cord. You can open your closet all the way so you have free reign to do just about anything. So really, it's just about where you want to position your dresser in your bed. Um, and so if I wanted to, I could put Marilyn right here. I could put some posters or something. I think last time I had like my calendar up there, but I never really use it. So that's just gonna stay over there. Depending on how you do your room, um, and like where you're putting your stuff in your room, ultimately just depends on you know how the room is shaped so i'm in a Deja's is in b brown is in c and it's usually a d room as well a and d are generally opposites just like how in my room when you see it you see the desk stuff it's literally the same for like that how my bed is against the wall d's would be against the wall um and b and c are opposite so that's just how it is it also depends on where you're at as far as um the room so we have a not a corner room, but we have the room next to a corner room. Compared to my 325 room when I was downstairs, that was a corner room, which is why the baby's room was bigger. Um, so it just really depends on where you're stationed at in the building, but generally that's what those rooms look like. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I think it was like pretty different. I've never really done nothing like this before, so I thought it was cool to just kind of show you guys how to decorate your dorms and how to move stuff around and, you know, what kind of room you have to do whatever. So it's a call. It's pros and cons to each way that you do it. Um, either way, the rooms are small, so not really, you know, diff many different ways that you can do it unless you were like an RA in one of the freshman rooms because then you have a whole dorm to yourself, like a whole two-person dorm to yourself. So you'd have way more free reign to do something. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know because, you know, this is something new for me. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one.